Like most of these continents, we are also approaching North America in the same manner. That is, we are approaching the whole of the continent from two angles. One is taking a walk along the coast and then moving inland and identifying continental locations. But the most remarkable feature on the whole of the eastern coast is going to be Bowash. That is the Bowash Megalopolis. Bowash Megalopolis is the largest conurbation or megalopolis in the whole of the world. It's a conurbation that means it's a very large and continuous urban built up area. Megalopolis that means it has been formed by the merging of many urban centers. So it, it goes on to form a continuous urban built up area. It's the world's longest, it's the first and also the largest of the megalopolis that comprises from north to south is Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore and Washington DC. Now this is important from the prelims point of view. It is significant from the preliminary point of view because of two factors and two reasons. One of them is that the arrangement of the cities can be asked in the form of a question that is identify the cities and arrange the cities from north to south along the northeastern seaboard of the United States and that goes on to comprise Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore and Washington DC and together all of them go on to form what we are going to call it as Bowash Megalopolis. North of uh, the Bowash Megalopolis lies the Bay of Fundy. Bay of Fundy is a large tidal inlet uh, separating the provinces uh, of uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. This is one of those regions known for the highest tidal range in the whole of the world. There is absolutely no place in the world that can go on to have uh, so much amount of a difference between that of high tide and that of low tide. It is uh, this difference of high tide and low tide uh, that is significant here and uh, it's in the Bay of Fundy region. Nova Scotia Peninsula province uh, consists of a uh, mainland peninsula. It is connected to the mainland by the Isthmus of uh, Chignecto. Cape Breton Islands is also separated by the Strait of Canso in this region. North of Nova Scotia lies the Gulf of uh, St. Lawrence. The Gulf is also a relief phenomena for the underlying topography is made up of uh, submerged portions of the northern end of the Appalachian mountain range. The southern periphery of the vast uh, ancient rock mass is known by the name of Canadian Shield. The whole of the region that is Gulf of St. Lawrence is a gulf uh, that allows the opening of uh, the St. Lawrence River into the sea and uh, it is going to be one of the more important uh, passageway that to provide uh, the sea lanes of shipping uh, going all the way to the Great Lakes region. Francisco is known for a variety of things including uh, one of the science centers uh, as well as the Golden Gate Bridge. Students will be mindful of the fact uh, that it was in San Francisco and an earthquake on it uh, where a film also had been made uh, which showed uh, high tsunamis uh, moving into that area and into that region by this same name itself 